Hi, how are you? Hi, how are you guys? Ciao, ciao, ciao. <laughs> see, you, see you again. Yeah, so good Everything to see you again. Good? Here in Italy, we have a good news. We are in the second part of the coronavirus. For that, the people start to go outside from home. Yes. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, a good, it's a good moment for us for that. We are really very happy about that. Oh, that's and, so uh, good. Know, right? Yeah, we hope. We hope. We hope we continue, Cosi, because uh, our afraid is the people being in contact between them and <clears throat> restart again the problem. Yeah. For that, we just have to be careful and, uh, you know, slowly to restart a little bit of life again yeah sounds good that's some good news and we're yeah. really looking for you know everything getting better here as well <laughs> yes. that's, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> okay uh today we continue the interview of last time uh, oh yes yeah. so sorry for the together. interruption last time no <laughs> don't worry about that We, we spoke about last time about you know, how you start your career and about China and then when you mm -hmm. tell to us who you want to see more and to be a professional yeah. dancer and you go in America, your, mm -hmm. your parents wasn't so happy because they lose you. Yeah. <laughs> you oh, go yeah. far away. Um, yeah. And then, uh, then we spoke about uh, uh, your, the difference between uh, before you be a mother and now. Yeah. You know, you have a baby of two months. We yep. spoke about that. Yep. And uh, we spoke too about your tournée in Italy and uh, because Italy is one of your favorite countries when you do the tournée. And, uh, yeah. you know, we, we do those three uh, answers then, uh, you know, your baby <laughs> have got, uh, you know, want to eat something or that. It was the mommy time and uh, we closed the... Yes. Uh, Thank you. Uh, let's start now with some another question about yeah. you, about your career. One of them is, uh, did you have any hobbies or uh, passions who is not the dance, of course, outside of this, of this uh, you know, the dance is your job. Did you have uh, hobbies or passion in your free time? Uh, I like to teach a lot and I like to do um, choreography. I do choreography sometimes. And if people know from my Instagram, you know, I like to do improvisation, you know, when, while traveling. So that's another thing I really like traveling. And uh, I used to like drawing a lot. I just haven't really got much time to do it, but I like to do sketches. And okay. that was very fun to me. I remember I like to uh, just sit on the subway and uh, observing and I just do a little quick drawing on the train. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's pretty much... You, you do those in your free time. That's, that's great. And yeah. uh, when you do the tournée, uh, when you do the tournée, the different tournée with Martha Graham Company, uh, which is the biggest difference you saw between Europe and USA or USA and another countries outside? You mean the like, audience and the reaction? Like, yeah. Um, yeah, just the U.S. has a more like a grand background, right? Like they sing us all the time. Like we touring pretty much very regular um, in different cities, especially New York. You know, every uh, New York season will happen very like continuous. And then people will see us how we grow and develop as a, um, a company. And for Europe, I think we go to, we actually touring in Europe quite often. So I think European audience really enjoy us as well you know very um just a lot of history they know they like the drama so we bring a lot of, like very dramatic piece there and also we will push a lot like new pieces we're doing right now because the company is evolving into the 21st century so we're working with a lot of new 21st century choreographers and uh, was we we actually made a lot um amazing new pieces as well and then for for my own opinion like when we go back to china for certain countries we don't traveling often the problem is they only know the older repertoire we're doing right in our like the the history yeah. part so they are very familiar with that so sometimes they they don't really want to push the limit 
to have like mm-hmm. new somebody oh grand company doing something new they don't want that they want to see the classics for example that's why a lot of ballet companies just touring swan lake when they go to china yeah, yeah, you yeah, know yeah. like <laughs> because that's what people really know the best so but uh, things start starting to changing a lot uh, through you know the technology the social media everything start to spreading out more and uh, i think people's taste you know they they require more they want to see yeah, um, yeah. more fresh and new things now so not not really much a big difference nowadays because you just have to keep pushing the limit yeah we, we saw, we saw that with uh, we saw that with some of our students too be, be, before five six years many of them love just the classic you know uh, interpretation variation but now you know after they saw classic 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 now they 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 start to so and they love to store something different you know something yeah. uh, new something fresh and uh, exactly. yeah mm-hmm. that it's, it's more easy and the, of course the internet help about this because you can show uh, in the video something and tell, you know then you can show that per, uh, in the in the theater you know exactly. it's, it's, a, it's a good thing um yeah Another question for you is uh, did you have ever uh, in your career injuries and how you get it uh probably some some students of us have got one of them <laughs> yes definitely <laughs> like um definitely if you're professional dancers injury pretty much like you can avoid it right it will happen like sometimes just because we are training our body so intensely and we're using it sometimes you overusing it like be for example when you have a really intense tour coming up where you have in new york season you have 16 shows in a row and that can really yeah that can really kind of kill your body <clears throat> so i will say you have to be really aware like how how your body feels sometimes i feel extremely tired like i feel like somewhere somewhere like my neck injured before and my back okay. got like a really bad spasm um is all from it happened it gave you the signal already tell you you're tired and that you're hurting but you mm-hmm. still pushing yourself because you know there's a show coming up but you're not um you know getting enough rest then you're still pushing yourself over the limit so that's when things happened so really have to be careful which is eating well like that's a wrong concept to tell all the dancers that right? which is no not eating enough right like you always think oh you're a dancer you probably not gonna eat enough no we eat more than regular people so well, yeah. run through yeah. so much make sure you got enough protein enough carbs so you have enough energy to to actually burn it means that hurting your muscle itself and also help you to recover uh, recovery is faster make sure to take care of your body doing massage you know acupuncture pt all that it's a con- it's constantly uh a relationship with your work and your own body too which is how to take care of yourself so you can contribute more into your passion so yeah that's a constant struggle even nowadays for us still you know it's it's hard but you just have to Ovviamente le persone le chiesto riguardo gli infortuni ha detto che ovviamente tutti i professionisti hanno a livelli di infortuni e poi è ovvio soprattutto quando fai delle tournée che fai tantissime esibizioni una dopo l'altra quasi quotidianamente ci dai dentro uh, la cosa la differenza qual è che comunque bisogna prendersi cura l'alimentazione è molto importante bisogna mangiare bene non perché loro mangiano poco tanti dicono che mangiano poco invece loro mangiano uh, la differenza è che mangiano bene mangiano le cose giuste praticamente pochi carboidrati le cose proprio come si deve e questo porta a, a portare il proprio fisico nella maniera migliore per fare le, le performance giuste uh, oh, that's great uh, then I have to, to, to do some questions to you who we are uh, I send you uh, I, I give you two op- uh, options and you just choose one okay okay that's great uh, you love more uh, summer or winter summer beach or mountain 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 uh you you go more in the cinema or tv uh, or concert live concert uh, uh this is hard um, 
because I like go to cinema for superhero movies. I love superhero. Oh, movies. that's great! Not very really something. <laughs> yeah, that's like 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 top one on my list for movies and <laughs> uh, and animation too. I love animation movies. Okay. But uh, I love live concert because you know live performers like that's what I like like dance concert. Of course. Yeah. Uh, sweet or salty? Ah, uh, sweet. Sweet. Okay. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, a solo or pas de deux or or in group when you when you dance when you dance together you like more more to dance together or with a group? Hmm. I like dance with a group, but I definitely enjoy solo moments as well. It's different. This is hard to uh, for dancers to choose because from okay. different relationship you have a you gain different energy, right? Uh, in Gram, okay. we have a lot of group pieces, just like one of my favorite. Um, is chronicle, you know, the group of women dancing together. It's so powerful. It's you just can't beat it if you do it by yourself. It just doesn't make sense. But sometimes okay. solo, just you know, really intimate. That's and uh, and I, I would like to ask you uh, between when you be principal dan when you are principal dancer and when you are a dancer normal in the company, is a big difference. Uh, with the media, with uh, you know, because sometimes your face is in uh, the posters or is uh, you know mm. the big one. How how is the difference? You know how you feel this difference? You know before probably before you be a uh, principal and then when you be a principal. Um, for our company, um, it depends. For all the classic repertoire, so we have you know more like principal roles and the group roles, which is I'm really glad because I actually be able to dance the role Martha did before, you know, made it for herself. Um, but for new contemporary works, most time you are doing an example. Um, how do you say, of course, I will feel like very proud of myself, first of all, if you see a face on the big poster. But also, I just as proud as when I see my colleagues on the poster okay. as well. You know, it's a different feeling. You just feel, wow, that's Graham Company up there. You know, you're representing. Okay. <laughs> so that's that's a really great feeling. Okay. And did you have a choreography or a piece who you love so much, and when you dance that, you feel, you know, the best for you? Maybe when you remember that piece and you tell, oh my God, that that was amazing for me. Yeah, I like Chronicle a lot. Okay. Especially. Okay. Um, even like I'm the lead role in that piece, but that's a piece you need the lead role as almost how to say like a direction. Well, but everybody really working together, you just feel so powerful. You're up there, but you're talking to everybody, tell, telling them, oh, this is the way to go, and we're gonna do this together. So that's a quite amazing feeling. Every time when I think about it, I get just goosebumps. It's hard to explain. <laughs> um, we are actually doing a uh, chronicle week this week for Graham. So if you check out Graham, uh, uh, Massa Graham's uh, Instagram, so you're probably going to see a piece of, you know, choreography. I'm probably going to post a section of, of it as well on my Instagram. So, yeah. It's okay. Yeah. I understand. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you like more to dress uh, sweet or athletic, athletic clothes or elegant? Elegant. I like the, the both kind of, I like mix them together. Um, but daily, you know, oh, okay, you, you, you like more, a little bit uh, uh, elegant, sportive, you know, something similar. Yeah, exactly. Okay. For example, if I wear a dress, sometimes I like to wear a Chinese style dress, but I wear sneakers okay. on the knees. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's like yeah. Chinese, but with shoes from the gymnastics and things like that. Yeah. Coffee or tea? Coffee. Coffee, okay. I'm about Chinese. Film, <laughs> film or TV series? Uh, could you say that again? You cut it out. Movies or TV series? <sighs> um, I watch TV series. Okay, now in, in this quarantine time, you know, <laughs> Netflix, it's, we, we stay all day there. Exactly. <laughs> and we saw all yeah. the... And did you have a favorite uh, film or seri uh, TV series? In this way, probably we can see that. Um, my favorite. I like The Good Place. Yeah. I don't know if you it's, guys it... know. It's kind of like comedy, very colorful and vibrant. And I just, um, 
it talk a lot about uh, human issues actually, but you know, really fun and lightly. It kind of mm -hmm. like very fit into my personality as well. Sometimes I feel. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So That's if you guys great. want to check it out. Uh, ice cream or cake? Cake. Cake. Okay. Uh, running or bicycle? Uh, running. Running. Okay. And uh, for take uh, care about yourself, about cardio, you go more to run or you go in, uh, in gym or you do, you know, cardio at home? I really want to run, especially you are actually quarantined at home right now. I really wish I can just go out and run. But right now I just okay. have to use, uh, you know, indoor, like, you know, bicycle. Okay. Or, yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. uh, heels or sneakers? Sneakers. Makers. Uh, romantic films or, or thriller? Romantic film. Romantic, oh, yeah. <laughs> that's great. But happy and romantic, you know, romantic uh, comedy. That's what I like. Okay, that's <laughs> great. Ones. Uh, you do more abdominals or push ups? Uh, abdominals. Abdominals? Uh, car or motorcycle? Car. Uh, believer in God or secular? Uh, what's that again? You are a believer in God or secular, you know? Um, I believe in Buddha. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, yeah it's, it's just for that. It's just yes. for knowing. Um, city or countryside? City. Which okay. I do you... enjoy countryside a lot these days. But I know if for me to live somewhere like a long time, I cannot have to be in the city. Yeah. You want to have everything near, you know, just uh, to move yes. and have everything exactly. around of you. Yeah. That's okay. Uh, Facebook or Instagram? Instagram. Instagram? Yeah. Uh, iPhone or Android? iPhone. Okay. Your favorite color? Pink. Pink. Oh, that's great. <laughs> My, my wife loves it too. Uh, did you have uh, a favorite singer or a song who you hear sometimes in your, you know, in the I moment? Like, you... uh, Anderson Park. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, okay. love his, like my favorite song called Make It Better. I really like Can it. Make... Yeah. Uh, your favorite food. Did you have a favorite food? I like all kinds of food. This is hard. Oh, um, Chinese food for sure. You know, that's where I'm from and uh, always bring me comfort. And I love, love pizza. And oh, yeah, I love pizza. Like, that just... Okay, this time when you're coming in Turkey and Italy and we see you here. Yes. <laughs> we go to yes. eat pizza together. That's great. Yes, definitely. You know, that's also that's why Italy is one of my For me, the same. Always when I turn back at my home, uh, I, I, I love to eat the things when, who I eat when I was a little child, you know, yeah. because oh, when yeah. I eat them, I remember, you know, all the remembers turn back to me. Yes, yeah, um, so important. Did you have uh, your favorite city, international city, not in the USA and not in China, of course? Um, I like Athens. That's, uh, I had a great mem memory over there. Florence, okay. we were just here uh, there yeah. this uh, last summer. And... Uh, Taipei, Taiwan. Yeah, Taipei. Another okay. One. I had a great memory there and Paris. Okay, it's a romantic, you know, always. <laughs> uh, Athens, Athens, I know that so now because I lived uh, six years in Greece for that. I, oh. I've been in Athens for one year too. Yeah, I was in the Iceland of Creta, but I've been there for one year. And last year, uh, I bring my wife too for so. Parthenon, oh. Acropoli, you know, it's really very nice. It's, yeah, also um, like beautiful islands too. It's so nice. Yeah, yeah. Uh, a theater like a building who you like, who like so much, you know, around the world. Did you have a theater who you remember and uh, you tell when you enter inside, wow, it's amazing? Uh, Paris Opera. That's like just um, the ultimate, right? Yeah, because we perform there uh, for two one week, six shows, and uh, I 
uh, actually was uh, opening night. I did my uh, Cave of Heart, you know, Medea there. So that's a, like kind of like magical feeling. Yeah, so it, it's one of the most beautiful inside and outside too because uh, yeah. Opera of Paris is really very great. Yeah. Um, did you, your stylist, did you have a, a stylist, a favorite stylist, like a brand, like Moda brand or not? Mm. <clears throat> Some brand I like, and also I like just like funky kind of. Um, okay. Yeah, not really just mm. one brand. Yeah. And did you have a favorite brand like a sportive, uh, like Nike, Adidas, or something similar, Puma, or something um, different? I can't really see, like, oh, I like Vans, you know, like, all my shoes and sneakers are... are okay, okay, that's great. <laughs> okay, so that's I guess great. I... That's you, you, yeah. we, we love that, we love that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, your favorite flower? Favorite flower rose. Okay, it's classic. Yeah. Uh, did you like sports and uh, or did you see the sports in TV and which of them is your favorite? Basketball. Wow, oh, NBA. Okay. Yes. I I think uh, China too have a good uh, basketball uh, championship. Yeah, they're. I mean, they're they're doing better. Definitely, um, we have a better basketball than soccer, I believe. But before, yeah. years ago, people just really crazy into soccer than basketball. Was like, why? You, why? Because we're much better in basketball. <laughs> yeah, and, and I think I, I played football when I was young and, yeah. uh, you know, I, I, I saw it. And uh, I think five, six years ago, China buy too many players from Europe, from everywhere in the, in yes. the soccer. Yeah. But uh, yeah, they are really very great in the basket, and I don't understand why they don't, you know, uh, make the money in the basket, but in the soccer. That's yeah. that's true. Um, uh, did you uh, your favorite natural natural uh, uh, city, natural place for for holidays? Um, for holidays, we been go to. We have a um, like my husband's um, grandparents has a cabin in Georgia. Blue Hills, oh, Blue, Blue Ridge. So that's a like really um, nice place, just in the mountain. You have your little okay. cabin, you know, you can burn okay. a fire. So like and... more the mountain. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> that's why. Because my hometown where I was born also is right next to a beautiful mountain as well, so. Okay, for that, it's, yeah. it's, it's inside you. Uh, <laughs> did you have got uh, in the past uh, a dancer who, inspired you, you, you have been, you know, you, you saw her and you felt, wow, she's so amazing. I want to be one day like her when you was young. Yeah, um, a lot of dancers inspire me, but there's one uh, Asian dancer was in the company. She is uh, Taiwanese. Her name is uh, Xu Fangyi. She was a principal dancer in Grand Company years ago. And I was very lucky to dance with her the first year when I joined Grand. I was in the course, oh. and she was a lead in Quantico, the piece I was telling you guys about. Mm -hmm. And I remember we did the New York season, then she, her big picture was on New York Times. We had a review, oh. you know, um, but... on, on New York Times. So in my head, I tell myself, one day, I hope my picture will just like yours, will be on that, you know, on New York Times one day. And then that happened, I think, two or three years later. Well, wow, that's a good satisfaction. <laughs> and uh, have you have you got um, a choreographer in uh, who uh, you d doesn't work yet together, and uh, you know uh, in the future you have got you want to work with him to to do something together? Oh yes, um, many. There's so many. <laughs> like a lot of my. Uh, good friend too like they are really amazing um choreographers of course um but i would like to just jump the not just stay in one category i want to reach out to see people doing the theater you know or in even mm -hmm. ballet drama for example i would love to work with jason pack to see what he can bring to um us and i worked with my friend caleb um teacher he's a, like tap and a, um, dancer tap and the swing um and I hope maybe he can teach me something from his, you okay. know, um, 
That, that, that's great. Uh, did you use, did you use sometimes use the point shoes and which uh, which brand are them? Oh, I don't, you... I don't use the point shoes, but uh, I work with ABT dancers. Okay. Um, I don't really know what kind of point shoes they're using, but um, I starting to very curious how to use the point shoes in a different way when I'm working with them. For example, last time when I did piece with them, I make them using hand, you know, just holding the point okay, shoes. Okay. Well, yeah, just see a different side of how people working with the point shoes, which is I had no idea, you know, how much work you have to put into the point shoes. You have to okay. sew them, you have to break them, you know, before <laughs> yeah, you wear them. Yeah. And after when a couple shoes, they tell yeah. me we take for hours there behind. You know, yeah. uh, to prepare them. And to burn them, <laughs> and you have to soften <laughs> them. Like when this pair, which is very fast, very, very pretty quick, couple shows, the probably worn out. Sometimes you have to two pair of shoes in one show. Then you have to do it all over again. You know, it's amazing. Yeah, yeah. It's it just yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah and with with some of them, they told to me all the time. Yeah, we, we we need you know all the time. We stay there for hours and hours, yes. and we lose so much time who we yeah. want, you know, uh, to do something different in that time. Yeah. Uh, and, um, okay, let's let's start with some, uh, uh, another question is, uh, if you doesn't do a ballerina in your life, uh, a dancer in your life, uh, which other job you you, you think you, you do? I would you like to, to become do. a cook. Ah, <laughs> Yeah, I don't think it's too late for me, actually, you know. When I have more time, I would like to really get into it. Uh, I think it was two, three years ago, I was really into cooking. Um, wow. And I, that actually bring a lot of joy for me. And then now I just don't have much time, but I wish. Yeah. And then now in those days of quarantine, we are inside home. Of course, you have the baby and you, you stay, you know, all the time with him. Yeah. But in your, in your free time now, what, what you are doing? How, you, how is your day? Now, now pretty much no free time, <laughs> <laughs> no free time. But um, I really enjoy when I can, for example, I will, if I do a little workout or I want to read a story, I want to just just be in track with the baby. So that's kind of really fun to do too. Like when I dance, mm -hmm. I just dance for her. Um, yeah, but when I have more free time, I would like to cook more. Ok, quando abbiamo un tempo di piace proprio Cucinare. cucinare uh, un po' di più, praticamente. Uh, and your favorite book, or did you have a favorite book? Uh, yeah, I do. Girl, There's a book. Uh, first of all, I'm a big uh, Harry Potter fan here. Wow, yeah, of yeah, course. I, I read all of the books uh, in Chinese uh, many, many times. Like, And for, since like I was maybe 14, 15, mm -hmm. I started pretty late because when Harry Har Potter happened in China, when they translated it, went much behind. And the first of all, that's one of my favorite. And another one is um, called Unbearable um, Lightness of Being, if you know that book. It's also, um, I started reading when I was really young, called Unbearable Lightness of Being. Uh, I saw now because probably you know maybe we we know that but in the Italian name you know sometimes oh yeah yeah that's probably uh, it they, you know, between one country and another one for that some bestsellers of course they take like Harry Potter it's the name for that it's everywhere it's the same one yeah. but some book you know uh, I it's talked with my friends and told me, did you know this book I told them no I don't have an idea then when I saw in the Italian one I tell oh yeah I, I read that you know I <laughs> of course <laughs> it, It's different. Yeah. Uh, another an, uh, another uh, question for you is uh, how you see yourself after 10 years? Mm. Your project, your future project. I, um, in 10 years, I think I'll be still dancing for sure. That's first of all. And uh, my daughter will be, wow, uh, 10 years old. So that'll be kind of fun, you know, just see how, what she's going to do. Um, you, you, you want she be a ballerina or dancer or uh, you think uh, it's better something different? Yeah, um, I don't know. I, I, I don't really know if I want, like, uh, specifically want her to, oh, you have to become a dancer. It really depends on her. 
if she loves no, it, course. of course it's great. I'm gonna support her hundred percent. Whatever I can provide to her,、um, but if she doesn't, I won't feel like offended at all. And, you know, it's hard for her to choose. I, I asked you before, before because、uh, sometimes the people think、uh, the life of dancers uh, is uh, you know just beautiful, but they you know sometimes they doesn't understand who behind when you be there. But you know the road to be there is really very hard. You have to work and sacrifices and many many other things.、Yeah. And、uh, when I talk with some some friends of me who are dancer ballerinas, they tell me, no, you know it's a very beautiful world. With the satisfaction are great, but it's really very tough. It's really very hard, and people sometimes they don't understand that because they、yeah. think you're doing the stage beautiful things with a smile or with drama, you know. And they tell, yeah, it's nice, but they doesn't understand behind how much hard work is. <laughs> yeah, it's just so hard. It's it's really really hard, but I just re- it's very rewarding as well if you love it. <laughs> and.、Uh, What、uh, you have, what you you say to the young ballerinas who want to do this like、uh, their life, like a profession in the future, and、uh, in this moment of quarantine,、uh, I know some of them are a little bit down. You know, it's they are a little bit sad. You know, because、uh, in this period, probably some of them have gotten competitions and something similar, and they can't do them. Yeah. And they are a little bit down with the moral, you know. And、uh, what you have to say then for? Uh, uh, just thinking, you are not the like everybody in dance, in performing arts in general. At this time, it's very hard for everybody. Like we have our New York season cancelled. That never happened to us before. We have like amazing, like for example, some some of the dancers they're looking forward to the premiere in very important role. In the New York season, and suddenly it's not happening. You know, that's very. I totally understand how disappointing that can be, and how frustrating that can be. But just remember, you're not alone, and the stage is there waiting for you. And right now, all you can do is be, be prepared, right? Make yourself strong, stay in shape, and make sure all this preparation is worthwhile. Once you get on that stage, and you're gonna shine, shine hard. So. Ok, praticamente di prepararsi che tutto anche loro hanno cancellato tutte le tournée, hanno fatto di tutto, perciò dovrebbero solo pensare che come se non ci fosse esistito quest'anno in realtà <ride> e dover andare avanti, ma devono sempre stare preparati per per darci dentro e in certo senso、uh, andare sempre più avanti praticamente.、Yeah. Uh, another question for you is、uh, the last one.、Uh, did you have uh, uh, how you call it? Um, a prefer.、Uh, I don't. I don't remember that now because I was thinking that in Greek because I speak Greek too,、oh. and now I, it don't. It don't come more in、uh, in in English. But it's okay. Uh, uh, I do another question for you, and probably I, I remember that after. Okay. okay <laughs> world,、uh, did you have、uh, a rule who you never do in?、Uh, In your career, and we you you want want to do in the future. A role I haven't done yeah. yet. Yeah. Um, there's a role like Jocasta in、uh, My Journey, Master Grand Wolf's classic piece. I supposed be doing it if I'm not,、um, you know, on my maternity leave. If I didn't, you know, wasn't pregnant with my baby, I probably gonna do this role in this season. Which is kind of,、oh. you know, it's it's kind of hard. But I hope that will be in the future for me. That's one of my dream role want to do because there's a lot of drama, and so much conflicts inside. Just just a challenge for the humanity. You just kind of discover another layer of your humanity. So that's what I'm really looking for. I'm really want to do more challenge roles like that, like very challenging, just very deep, different layers, and you can really. Dive yourself into it and discover more and more about yourself and about others as well. Okay, that's great. I I really、uh, thank you for、uh, all the the answers. Thank、uh, you. Okay, about our question, 
when I, when I remember this question, who I want to do in English, I send you a message, okay? <laughs> That's it. No problem. This way I talk it to my students. It was a pleasure to talk really, to you. Thank you very much for the, the second part of the interview because the first part we do that last time, you know, last week. And uh, I really hope you, when you're coming uh, in Turnay in Italy soon and this situation uh, turn back, you know, quietly and uh, everything turn back like before. We really hope to have you here with us and uh, just for so you or probably one masterclass, it will be a really very great for us. Well, and, that will uh, be my pleasure. Grazie, grazie mille. And Thank please you. save it because in this way I download it for the other students who now are in the beach or are okay, doing, you yeah, know, with definitely. the I will, I will save it, no problem. Because after 60 days here we was closed. Uh, you know, the people now, they don't want to stay home more. <laughs> I know. I totally understand. Of course. I will do the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> Grazie mille. Ciao. 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 